Uh, hello and welcome to um, a code along where we're going to look at how do we import time series data into pandas. Um, so pandas is the main tool you're going to be using for managing your data when it's a time series. Um, it has some cool features um, and makes it really easy to, to work with time series data. So we've used pandas before um, and there's just a few extra steps that we need to take account of when we're working with time series data. Um, the index of a, of, a, um, of a pandas data frame becomes a date time index for understandable reasons. Um, and also we need to just make sure that we set the um, date time index frequency. So if it's daily data, we make sure that the data frame knows it's daily data. If it's monthly data, we make sure it knows it's monthly data. Um, and the big thing always with working with dates is uh, UK versus US versions of dates. So is your, does your date format have day first or, or does it not? Um, so you just need to make sure that whatever data you're reading in, you know what format that's in um, and make sure you just tell pandas what's happening. So let's, let's show you how to do that. Um, so uh, we only need one import here, which is pandas. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to import um, uh, a data set that's to do with alcohol sales. Um, it's quite an interesting data set if you look at it. Um, it stretched back to 1992 and goes all the way um, up to some time in 2019. Um, and what's interesting about this data set is you can see some seasonality in it. Um, there's, a, there's a trend, that trend might be curved slightly. Uh, but also what's cool about this data set is you can see the variability increasing over time. Um, so this, that's what we call multiplicative seasonality. But don't worry about that for two, at the moment. Let's figure out how we get that into pandas. Um, so we're going to use the read CSV function of pandas. Um, and we just need to specify a few additional arguments um, to make sure that pandas knows this is a time series. So the first thing we need to do is parse the dates. Um, so that means that pandas will, when it will, it will, it will process the, that data as if it's a date and not just a string. Um, so we, we set parse dates equals true. Um, we want our date to be our index. Um, so we set our index column to the name of the column containing the dates in our, in our alcohol example. Um, that's called date. I'll show you that in a moment, all in capitals. Um, if you do encounter uh, the, the issue of UK dates where the, the day comes first, you can set a parameter called day first equals true, uh, and Pandas then just processes it um, correctly, and you get it. You get a consistent uh, a consistent date out at the end of the processing. Uh, and then after we've loaded the data into the data frame, we set its frequency. Um, I'll show you how to do that as well. Uh, and that's really just setting a single parameter to a string value. So if it was daily data, it would be D. If it's month, monthly data starting at the first of the month, it would be monthly start data. So you'd set that to MS. If it was quarterly data, you would set that to Q, for example. Uh, so the alcohol data is online um, in the HSMA. Um, repo so i'll just show you that data what it looks like so here we go so it's just a comma separated value file a csv two columns the first one is date um, and the second one is sales let's have a look at the format of the date well that's that's year and then day then month so pandas will be able to handle that no problem at all so we don't need to set our day first parameter here excellent so we're specifying the URL to the data um, and we're going to call the pandas read CSV function. We're going to pass in that URL so pandas knows where to get the data from. We're going to uh, set the parse dates uh, argument to true and we're going to set our index column to date. Once we've done that, we've got our data assigned to our data frame assigned to a variable called TS. Um, and then to set the frequency of the date time index, we just say ts.index.freq equals and then whatever our um, frequency needs to be. In this case, it's monthly start. So the first day of each month. 
So let's just comment that out for a second and run that. Um, so we've now read that data in. If we take a quick look at that. Um, you can see your index is your date and you've got a column of sales. Um, if we have a look at some info about the data frame, uh, you can see that it's uh, got a date time index with 336 entries running from 1992 through to 2019. Um, and if we have a look at the index, we can see, uh, you can see all the values in the index to start off with. You can see its data type is date time 64 down to the nanosecond. So it can be highly accurate um, timing for information. If you, if you ever need to go to the nanosecond, you can. Um, you've got the name of the field, got its length, and then you've got its frequency. At the moment, that's set to none. Um, so the problem with that is some of the time series methods um, available within Python will require you to set that frequency and they won't work correctly without it. So that's easily done with this line of code. So we'll set that to MS and then when we have a look at our index, we can see now the frequency has been has been set. If we set that to something else like D, it should throw an error. So you need to you need to it's not an arbitrary field, you need to set that to the correct um, the correct value. Um, so the error it's thrown is a value error. Uh, in third frequency, MS from past values does not conform to the past frequency D. Um, what it's basically saying is you're telling me this is daily data. I don't think it is. And pandas is correct. It's monthly data. Okay, so there's our info about the data frame. Uh, and then here's our data read in. So really straightforward. Uh, as if you're reading data um, normally, except you pass in uh, parsing dates and also the index column and then set the frequency. Those steps are the things you need to remember each time you load a time series.